Welcome back to Seagull Cycles TV. Today we're doing another product unboxing, this time from Spring Decks. Now I'm super excited about this one. If you're one of the growing number of riders out there that is starting to run coil suspension on your bike, you'll know that there are a very select number of spring rates that you can choose for your particular rear shock. Now what Spring Decks has done has created an adjustable spring rate coil for you. And once we get this thing on box, we'll go through how it works. All right, here we go. So there's the box. And looking at the outside, we get a few numbers here. So we got 55 by 430 to 500. That 55 is going to indicate the stroke length that this particular spring is for. And the 430 to 500 is going to be your adjustment range for where we can adjust the foot pounds on this spring to make it go squish. And unboxing. First thing we got here, which they are going to call their performance adapters. And what these guys are going to do is allow that coil to rotate just a bit around your shock as needed. And then we got the spring. So first thing looking at this spring, I noticed that it is quite a bit thinner than the spring that is currently on my rear shock. And the reason for that is that they run a much higher strength steel so that they can actually go through and use less material resulting in a lighter weight spring. And looking at the adjuster, we got up here at 500. We got kind of a half click, so that's going to take it down to 495, 490, and 5 pounds all the way down to 430. And those are nice solid clicks. Just feeling those as it is now. I really don't feel like while you're riding, that thing's going to bounce around between spring rates. That's nice and solid. And when I was reading about this, I saw a lot of comments, questions, and various forums around there on the internet about why can't you just run this spring dex device and any other coil spring. And reason being, this spring and adjustment device are designed together. So they are only going to work together. You can't throw this guy on, you know, brand X spring or A or B. You got to run their spring with it. Okay, so let's get into a side-by-side -side comparison. This is my MRP Hazard rear shock that I'm going to be putting the spring decks on. And you can see putting them side by side, just the massive difference in coil thickness of these two. And so first, we got to take our coil off the original shock. And just get your preload adjuster back off there. Pull your retaining clip, spring off. And man, I mean, you can feel a huge weight difference between these two. I mean, this one is much heavier than this. Get into our adapter hardware. And the only one that you're gonna need, and the only one that's gonna work with this MRP hazard is just this thin, Little flat guy. It's gonna go up there on your preload adjuster. Get a spring on there. Reinstall our retaining clip. And just start tightening down that preload adjuster. And really this preload adjuster only has to go down on there tight enough to take out any play in the spring. You know, you don't want to try and make your spring stiffer or behave differently with preload. If you want your spring stiffer or a little bit softer, that's where this spring deck is going to come into play. So, nice and snug on there. Rotate that guy to where we need it. Adjust as needed. And there you go installed. So now that we have our spring deck spring installed on my shock, we're going to talk a little bit more about preload and why preload is bad and adjustable spring rate is good. So a lot of people will really crank down on this preload adjuster thing and that's going to make their coil stiffer. But really what you're doing is just compressing it and it's pushing more force back onto your shock and that's going to get rid of a lot of your small bump compliance. So you really only need just enough to take out any play in the spring. And with this guy, you'll be adjusting your 
spring right there, like you saw before. And I'm really excited to get this thing on my bike and try it out as soon as I do and get some rides on it. Um, I'll be get back to you and let you know what I think. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like what you see, hit like, subscribe, share, and check us out on Instagram at Seagull Cycles. Thanks.